Hey guys, Steven here with Yoz Collabs, and in this video we have some news and we have some fun, basically some kind of drama happening in, in the bodybuilding industry right now, but before we get into that, I just want to say that, yeah, we finally changed our thumbnail, so we came up with an idea, and there will be no more uh, couple of photos, preview, that kind of stuff that Nick is doing, because I, I really got sick, we got sick from comments uh, saying that we're copying Nick's strength and power, and I get it, sure, it's, I mean, it's his style but uh, old school apps had these kind of thumbnails before nick actually way before nick ever used them but i'm not saying that nick took the idea from us from old school apps no of course it's just a coincidence what i'm saying is that we have the right to use them but this kind of stuff happens very often uh, because we are doing the same kind of job and i don't want to hear that like of course now we, we fix the thumbnails we're not going to use the same th thumbnails as him but don't tell me we're copying his channel because we're covering news. There shouldn't be only one news outlet out there, right? There should be others. And if you're gonna talk about who's copying who, then we're all copying Louis Marco. Because he started this kind of stuff, but nobody's copying anybody. It's just news. That's how it's done in bodybuilding. It's happening on YouTube. It's not happening on TV. It's happening on YouTube. So that's it. We're not copying anybody. Uh, thumbnails. Yeah, it, this was a really efficient way to make thumbnails. But this kind of stuff has started to happen very often. Uh, as you can see, we posted this, uh, this thumbnail first, this video first. And uh, an hour later, Nick posted the same thing, pretty much. It's almost the same thumbnail. But it's because we're both covering the news that happened in bodybuilding, and also because the format of thumbnails and uh, the colors are pretty much identical. So, yeah, I get you, guys. And uh, we, we, we read your comments, and we decided to change this. So I don't want to hear any more your copying Nick Strength and Power type of comments. I don't want to see that. We fix this. I hope you're gonna like the new thumbnails. Tell me what you think about the new thumbnail. I think the idea is pretty original. It's different. It's not just a different kind of font or a different color. We wanna stay with, with our colors because those are the colors of old school apps. But we're gonna change the, the whole format of thumbnails. So tell me what you think about that. Anyways, let's get into the video now. Okay, now let's get to the fun part of the video, the, the news and the drama that I was telling you about. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I love me some drama. And some drama is happening in classic physique. So Chris Bumstead posted this video. Just himself showing off his back, showing his back improvements. Uh, this is one of his weakest body parts, arms and back. Did he improve it? Well, it's questionable. We can see that. We won't be able to see that until he steps on the stage. Once he trims all the water and fat, we'll see what kind of progress he made. There were people, though, saying that he made no progress since last year, that his back is still lagging, it's still the same. And that's all fine, analysts and critics can say that kind of stuff, but when a competitor says that, this kind of stuff happens. So here you can see <laughs> uh, what uh, Logan Franklin, who is, well, everybody is saying, and he is probably hoping to challenge eventually and beat Chris Bumstead. Uh, so he commented, as you can see right there. He wrote, looks same as last year. Basically saying that Chris made no improvements and he's laughing to him. And then Chris Bumstead replies, whatever you need to tell yourself to get to sleep at night. And then Logan replies, seeing no improvements definitely helps me sleep, bro. <laughs> so these two guys went back and forth a little and uh, I don't know how serious this is. Like, is Logan really thinking that? Is Logan really thinking that uh, he can beat Chris one day? Is he really that confident? I mean, challenging the champion, somebody who's not even, uh, who never competed at the Mr. Olympia stage, he, it's cocky. I mean, what he's doing right now is uh, making himself look better, bigger, whatever. He's hyping his name because people are doing that and he embraced it. He is presenting himself as a challenger for you know a win in classic physique category for all we know he can be third call out we can't be sure about that we never saw him at the mr olympia stage these guys at the mr olympia stage are really good like they're freaking beasts so we can't know about that but based on the photos and his previous performance and other shows we can make a pretty good conclusion uh, like we did with uh, Hunter Lobrado, for example, and Nick Walker. So we saw that based on photos, and uh, those guys didn't fail our expectations. So I think the same thing is going to happen with Logan, but we don't know it yet. 
Although it, it really seems like Logan is just joking, having fun and making things more interesting for us fans. And I, I love it. I personally love it. Whatever the reason is. But then this happens. Ian Wallier, the big daddy, comes in. So this is uh, Chris Bumstead's brother-in-law and his coach and a professional bodybuilder who just won the New York Pro, which is arguably third best show in the world. He qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He's one of the biggest guys today in bodybuilding, so... You know, he, he has the credibility to say whatever hell he wants, and he's a smart guy, sure. But he got fired up a little bit too much here, if you ask me. So he went a little bit overboard with his comments, but, you know, I had a good laugh. Hopefully you will too. So this is what he said. He, Chris Blumstead, doesn't need to improve to win Olympia. You need to improve to make third call out. <laughs> and then Logan says... Don't be projecting what you think will happen in your situation, bud. So yeah, Logan doesn't doesn't stand to this kind of stuff. He he bites back, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens at the Mr. Olympia stage. Me personally, what I can, I mean, what's my opinion based on what I saw? I think Logan will make the first call out, and Ian he will be maybe in the second one. Anyways, doesn't matter. Let's go with the next comment. LOL. Oh, I suck. That's no insult to me. And still have more muscle in my pinky finger than you in your whole body. And then Logan says, bigger doesn't always mean better, my friend. And then he replies, oh, sorry, I forgot tall and stringy was the in look. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Ian, uh, I don't know, maybe he's on, on some tremble right now. I don't know what he's doing with his prep. But I think he got fired up a little bit too much. I think Logan was just having fun. Hopefully Ian was doing the same thing, but he was a little bit too personal, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, this is what I read, and it made me laugh. So now we have this kind of new rivalry, and it is a potential rivalry, really. Because even though Logan seems like a potential Mr. Olympia winner, somebody who can take out Chris, who has all the tools, he still... I don't know. I mean, he still never proved himself. I'm not saying that he's not finished product. Maybe he is. Maybe the way he shows up to Mr. Olympia wins the show. Like, who the hell knows? I don't think that's gonna happen. I really doubt that for sure. I mean, I don't think, I really don't think so. But like, we don't know. But probably no. Probably he's gonna make. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe seventh, eighth place, maybe first call out, maybe like sixth, fifth place. But uh, that's that's a little bit probably probably a little bit too much. But people wanna see him up there against Chris, and Logan accepted that, and so he's making drama. He's creating it. What is happening with the drama with Brian Ainsley? Chris versus Brian, is that a thing anymore? Well, I don't see Brian saying stuff like he was saying before. I feel like he feels more secure now. He was a little bit insecure before when he was saying those kind of things. He probably wasn't even sure if he can win the Mr. Olympia again. So I think that was just him projecting his own insecurity. But now he started looking really damn good. And guys, right now, honestly, I have Brion winning. I have Brion beating Chris, based on their physique updates. But then again, <sighs> Chris and Ian told us that uh, Chris was doing really mild cycles in the offseason, and that he starts pushing stuff in the prep. So if that's the truth, and if nothing happens bad with his condition, you know, that stuff with, with kidneys and immune system, if everything goes well for Chris, sure, he can make crazy improvements, by the Mr. Olympia, but right now, if the show was held right now, I mean, they're not in shape, but based on what I see right here, phew, uh, right now I have Brion winning it, actually. It seems like Brion made some crazy improvements. He looks really sick, he looks really impressive. More impressive than, than Chris, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Alright, next one is about Shiru Classic, an Indian show, top show, one of the top shows in the world. I'm sure you remember those photos of Phil Heath from 2011 Shiru Classic, which is probably Phil's best or second best look ever. 2011 Mr. Olympia and 2011 Shiru Classic, Phil's best looks, yeah. And Shiru Classic is coming to the USA, actually. So the Nationals, the next Nationals, will be actually called Shiru Classic and PC Nationals. So this man right here, his name is Shiru, actually. Uh, he, he decided to partner up with uh, Jim Mannion, who is the president of the IBB, and in Orlando, in America, there will be nationals, and they're going to be called Shiru Classic Nationals. 
and there is a chance for 90 people to win their pro cards at this show. So that's amazing, that's pretty cool, and um, I'm sure that the reason for this was finances. So I'm sure nationals will be really good nationals this year, and I usually watch them a little, even though I'm not based in USA, I don't know really the, the amateurs, the guys. I know about the amateurs from my region, from Balkans over here, but I don't really know many of them from the USA, but I know about some because they follow some coaches and those coaches are, are, are coaching those amateurs. So I follow that a little bit, but this time around, I'm sure it's going to be very much fun. And uh, it's really interesting that Shuru Classic is actually coming to USA. And here we can see another partnership, maybe. Maybe we can call it that. Big Ramy and Dan Solomon. Of course, Big Ramy, one of the biggest bodybuilders of all time, who just received an invitation to compete at the Mr. Olympia stage. And um, Dan Solomon, who is the president of the Mr. Olympia. He, he is the main guy, basically. He's not the owner, but everything else is about him. So, uh, Big Ramy, in this post, says he talks about uh, not competing last year because of his shoulder injury. Uh, he didn't have a chance to compete, but he was there in the audience, he watched it, and he finally met Dan Solomon. So what I'm thinking based on this photo, I mean, this is something I, saw, I spoke about before. I think this guy is probably with an agreement. Maybe they, they, they decided, like, not, the, not that time when they met, but later uh, in this year, that uh, Big Grammy doesn't have to try to qualify. Maybe just Dan wanted three more competitors to qualify in that top three at the Chicago Pro, and he didn't want to bother Big Ramy to compete at the Spain Pro or Chicago Pro or whatever. Uh, he wanted him to be at his 100% at the Mr. Olympia. Because uh, Mr. Olympia is not like, I don't know, Olympics. You don't have to qualify. You don't have to qualify. All you need to do to be there is just be good enough. And the Olympia guys have that. Uh, they reserved a right to invite whoever the hell they want. So that, that's, that's, that's the policy of Mr. Olympia. If they think a bodybuilder will make the show better, they can invite him. They can invite anyone. They invited so many bodybuilders before, and they did the same thing with Big Ramy, and I think it was a good decision. I would love to see Big Ramy on that stage. Mr. Olympia wouldn't be the same without him. Yeah, I get the competitor point of view. Some of them tried really hard to qualify. They didn't make it, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, personally. I just want to see Big Ramy on that stage, and I'm happy because of that. And uh, yeah, Big Ramy posted that photo of himself being tested and being tested positive on COVID. Uh, but a day later, he posted uh, a gym selfie, I mean, a gym photo of his back progress, uh, like a few days later, right? So does that make a lot of sense? He should have probably stayed in uh, quarantine after that. So I really think he faked it. I think so. I don't know. I don't have any facts. I don't know. And I'm sorry if I'm making a mistake, but... That's just my impression. Anyways, we're gonna see Big Ram in that stage and I can't wait to see him. It's gonna be amazing. Many people gave up on him. They say he failed with his conditioning so many times so by now and he will not succeed again. But guys, remember, he was second at the Mr. Olympia 2017. Who is saying that he cannot repeat that shape? Yeah, he failed a couple of times. He, he, he failed miserably, but... It doesn't mean that he can't crack it again, like he did in 2017, three years ago only. So yeah, I, I'm an optimist, I'm, a, I'm an optimist for sure, and I think he will do it this time around. With Chad Nichols in his corner, I'm sure they figured out the formula, and I'm sure they will be ready. I'm sure Big Grammy, I'm not sure of course, but I think, I really think that Big Grammy will figure it out and he will be conditioned. Baby, even with Mr. Olympia, how about that? What do you think? And the final story for you guys is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, unfortunately, having another heart surgery. Is it heart? Because it says uh, he had to fix his aortic valve. So I, th that's close to heart. So I'm not sure if this is considered a heart surgery, but he had a couple of heart surgeries and uh, he, he got fixed a little bit again. He says that he's fine. Uh, he shared photos of himself walking in a park. So he's good. He's good. Everything is fine. He didn't want to worry us, he didn't tell us that he's going under again, but he's fine, he's good, he, he's safe. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and um, speed recovery, Arnold. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it if you want to see more, subscribe and don't forget to tell me what you think about the new thumbnails. And do forget to tell me that I'm copying Nick's strength and power because 
that is not what the old school apps is doing. No, it's just news, guys, relax, thumbnails, that we fixed, but don't, don't, don't do that anymore. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I hate to see those comments. Anyways, once again, thank you so much. Subscribe once again and all the best, guys. Keep it old school.